In the lab setup, we have six virtual MXs, six virtual Q of Xs, one virtual SRX, one virtual Juno space, one, one Juno space uh, machine, and one Linux host, Linux host that will be used for um, zero touch supervisioning, running Ansible scripts, and running uh, from the physical topology or from the physical connectivity of the uh, virtual devices we have the virtual mxs here virtual mx1 virtual mx2 are connected to virtual q of x1 q of x2 and this is forming data center number one then we have virtual mx3 virtual mx4 this virtual s towards virtual q of x3 and 4 and 5 which is forming data center 2 then we have virtual srx and virtual q of x6 which is forming the main data center then in the top side of the diagram we have virtual MX5, which is connected to all virtual MXs and the virtual SRX, and virtual MX5 is configured with logical systems that emulate the MBLS network and emulate the core network if we need to go from data center 1 to data center 2 or from any data center towards the main data center. We are going through a group of logical systems. These logical systems are all configured in virtual MX5. And then in the downside, we have virtual MX6 that simulates the servers, server facing, or the host, that's host that's being connected to the leaf switches or the virtual queue of access. Uh, and in the right hand side here, there is something called lab switch. This lab switch have, have all nodes co connected in this lab switch. All, uh, all nodes, uh, each node uh, have an interface 006. All of 006 interfaces in, in all nodes is connected to, to the node about this physical topology. Try to deploy this physical topology in your environment. I doubt this physical topology can be deployed in your personal PC or, 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 or notebook. This physical topology actually uh, needs uh, maybe a, a full-fledged uh, server like a UCS or Dell uh, uh, or HP server. So in my setup, I'm, I'm using a server uh, with about 128 gig RAM. The setup is consuming almost uh, around 90 gig RAM. So uh, you need to have kind of a powerful server uh, in your, uh, to, to set up this environment, uh, or you can uh, rent uh, a space, maybe in, in, in AWS or in Azure, to set up your lab, which will be kind of a costly solution. Maybe my suggestion here, you can um, buy a, 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 a refurbished uh, server, rack mount server uh, from ePay, which will be costing maybe around $500. And you can build uh, on top of a Linux KVM or Vigrant, you can build a kind of a Linux v uh, KVM and use Vigrant to, to build this lab or use uh, maybe a VMware ESXi and on top of VMware ESXi you can build your virtual machines and build the lab. Uh, so whatever the way that you would be using to, to build this lab, try to mimic this environment as much as you can so you can have the same uh, you, while you are answering the solution you can um, answer uh, in the same way that I, I'll be answering the questions here. Um, so that, that's all about the physical topology and we will go while going through the chapters we will take uh, we will take we'll understand more details about the physical topology. Thank you and see you in the next